Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody. My name is Mike at Filmboy24. Today we're going to talk about a little something called flashing your film when you should or shouldn't do it. And by flashing your film, I don't mean flashing it. Well, kind of, I do mean flashing it. Exposing it to light before you put it in your camera. It's kind of a no-no. So before we get started, a couple things I want to fill you in on really quick. Uh, I got a newfound film coming that's coming soon within the next, I don't know, five days or so, four or five days. Uh, I did shoot a roll of 500T Vision 2 in one of my Canon, I don't know if you could see it, one of my Canon uh, 1014 XLS cameras. And I did it for the purpose, I did it outside for the purpose of doing some more sync sound work with a camera that's not supposed to sync sound. So I'm excited about that. I'm forever learning and trying to figure out how to, to really get as close as possible to syncing sound to non-sync cameras. It's a manual, sort of a manual undertaking and it takes a long time to, to sort of stretch the audio back and forth. But look for that coming in the next couple of weeks if you're interested in figuring out exactly how to do that. Look at someone else. No, I'll show you what I know anyway about it. Uh, and lastly, I was contacted by a company. I get contacted by companies now. There's quite a few this year so far. And 90% of them, well, no, 98% of them, I respectfully decline to sort of uh, review their product or do a video on their product because it doesn't actually fit what I, what I do here. I mean, I'm a film-related channel or analog even. I would, you know, go that route. Or I might even do something crazy 80s related. But... I did get contacted uh, about a month ago, a couple of weeks ago maybe, or a month ago, by a company that wants me to take a look at and maybe do a video on their Wolverine clone 8mm Super 8 scanner. It essentially looks like a Wolverine Pro. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, and I'd settle. And I decided, yeah, I'll take a look at it. So they sent me the scanner. I have it now. It's brand new. It's still sealed in the box. Uh, I'm going to give my honest opinion on it, but I am going to do a full breakdown of that scanner. Look for that soon, really. Back to this. Okay, so with these guys wiggling around, let me tell you what's going on today. So a couple months ago, I was contacted by a really cool person that said they have seen some videos of mine, in particular the one where I spool down 16 millimeter film in these 400 foot cans to 100 feet. Now, I don't have a daylight spool up here, but I'll probably get one in a second, but Spool it down from 400 feet to four 100 feet spools or reels. If you're interested in learning how I do it, by the way, I'll put a link to that video up here somewhere. So this person said they were going to be filming something in the next few weeks and they were a little bit stressed out, relatively new to film, or very new to the film world. And they were going to use a K3 camera and it was a relatively important event. So they went on the B&H website and ordered five rolls of film for their camera. They're using one of these, K3s, I think I just said that. And they ordered five rolls of 400-foot film. Unbeknownst to this wonderful person, and I say that because really a nice person, they, they just were not aware of, you know, exactly how to go about it. So, so long story short, which is tough for me, they opened a can of film. Now, when you open a can of film, there will be a black bag like this. If you get it new from Kodak, there'll be a black bag. And inside the black bag, which is a light proof bag, will be your 400 feet of 16 millimeter film, if that's what you've ordered. Now, that black bag's purpose is to keep the film from flashing or exposing to light. Because once you expose film to light, for the most part, it's kind of useless, unless that's the particular look you're going for. And I'm going to show you that look here in just a couple minutes because, well, I'll tell you in a second. So this person said to me, they said, I have five rolls of film. I'm in a, I'm in a bind and I'd really like to get all of it spooled down to 100 foot reels so it'll work in my K3. So we talked on the phone for a bit. Um, came to the determination. I had plenty of the 100 foot daylight spools that I was going to spool all this film down for them. Uh, so I took this job. That's when they mentioned that one roll had been opened 
and exposed completely in the daylight in the in the I think the windows were open the lights were on inside the house and that's when they realized that it wasn't going to work in this camera because clearly it just doesn't fit so I asked that was done in the dark right and they said no so I explained very politely that probably that roll of film is shot. Um, they were a bit surprised, but they were new to this, sort of this art, brand new to it. Um, and I said this, I said, if you still have four rolls that have not been opened in the daylight, I'm happy to do those. I'll give you 16 rolls of film that won't be flashed to light that you can use for your project. If you're interested, send me the roll that was open I'll spool it down into four 100 foot spools and I'll shoot one myself and I'll process it quickly within a day and we'll see what it looks like. I mean, there's a 0% chance that it's not going to be pretty much ruined, but, but we'll take that chance because I'm a risk taker. So that's exactly what happened. I got the rolls of film. This one was clearly marked uh, that it had been opened and exposed. First thing I did was spool it all down. Uh, I took these rolls, there's actually three more in here, of the flashed film that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. And as you probably know by now, they weren't interested in it. So I did shoot it. I took the camera out in my backyard. This is my K3, my Super 16 upgraded K3. I did the complete upgrade myself. If you're interested in learning how I took the loop formers out, upgraded this to Super 16. I'll put a link up there somewhere for you. You can take a peek at it. It's a long video, but it's got chapter marks. Anyway, so I, I shot the film, I processed it, and I sent a little clip to this person. They said, yeah, you're right, it's ruined. But I kind of want to show you, I debated whether I would do this video or not, because I guess it's one of those things where it should be common knowledge. I understand that. This is film we're dealing with, and, and most people that deal with film, they know that it's light sensitive, and as soon as you open a roll of film and expose it to light, you ruin it. So they said, no, we don't want the film back. That's certainly not... The look we're going for just keep it which is exactly what i did so like i say i didn't know if i was going to do this video or not because i don't want people feeling shamed for having to ask questions there are some questions there are some things that you know just those of us that work in film all of the time i've been shooting film for 35 years so those of us that have been around film for most of our lives we already know that, but you have to remember there's a lot of people that are just getting into film. And I want to encourage those of us that have been around it for millions of years to, to help out. And, and let's not make these people afraid to ask these simple questions. Because it's like my twin ex-twin cousin, sister-in-law's next door neighbor's barber used to always tell me, the only dumb question is the question asked by film boy. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so I like to encourage people to ask questions, even if they think it's not a very smart question, because we all have them. Believe me, I was the kid in school that was afraid to do this because people would laugh at me. Well, I don't know the answer. Anyway, so I decided let's do a video on it really quick. I know it's not really quick, but I want to show you what happened. The, the film was actually taken, and I'm not obviously going to take a roll out because I don't want to expose it, but... The film was taken out of the can, it was taken out of the black bag, and it was basically just held out in the light. I was honestly a little bit curious myself as to whether anything inside that 400-foot roll of film might have been saved. I don't know. I knew that the, well, of course, the outside three feet was going to be completely just burnt. And when you expose film to light, when you get a light leak, you get sort of that burnt orange glow, reds and really cool like sunset kind of look and I kind of figured that's what we were going to get on both sides so I took this outside shot it in my backyard processed it and scanned it here is what we got
Actually kind of a neat artistic look. If you're going for something like that, well then flash your film. And that's what you'll get. For me personally, I, I think it really requires a special project to use that film. Not sure what I'm going to do with these other three rolls of it. Um, that particular roll, by the way, uh, was the inside, the innermost, so the, the, the smallest diameter part of that 400 foot roll. So it wasn't the outside, it was the, the 100 feet closest to the center. So I don't know what the, the rest are going to look like, probably the same. Um, so that's it. I just kind of wanted to throw this out there and let people know what happens if you open your 400 foot roll of 16 millimeter film. By the way, you know that's my favorite film stock in the entire world, it's 50D. So if you enjoy videos like this, I want you to do me a favor. It doesn't cost you anything. It'll remind you that you already watched this video too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it left-handed this time. Just tap the like button for me. If you feel like I've earned it, see that? That's just a picture, but you could subscribe if you'd like. If you don't want to subscribe, well, that's okay too, but I appreciate you watching this at least. And until the very next time that we, me and my dad joke pro coffee, see you mm -hmm, left-handed. Today's left-handed day. Mm, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'll see all of you on the very next go around.